coffee. Oh, thank you. Thank you. What country are you all from? Ethiopia. 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 Oh, how wonderful. So glad you could come. Thank you. Thank you. As I was saying, why not? To begin with, my arrival, Gizal Kivle, scholarship student in economics at the University of California, was anything but propitious. On arriving, I found that all my baggage had been accidentally routed to some place called Watsonville. I somehow missed the representative the university had arranged to meet me. And having spent in New York most of the money I had changed, I found that the draft on the Bank of Ethiopia was useless at night. The first person I met was a policeman who arrested me at once. My command of the language departed and I was unable to speak in my own behalf or understand my offense. I cannot describe to you my feeling as I finally entered the city of Los Angeles as a criminal. I had no idea where the police were taking me. It was, however, not to prison. I had apparently arrived, somewhat irregularly, at the University of California at Los Angeles. This huge campus, my scholarship, which seemed so bountiful and honored from the government, proved something less than adequate. To save money, I entered the cooperative student dormitory. Breakfast is served early and is very unusual. My roommate is an American from Arizona studying civil engineering. He is failing calculus and is very uncommunicative. And he probably finds me the same way. For five months now, I have had time for little besides study, worry about money, and wonder why I ever came here. The English examination I passed in Addis Ababa with such fluency is simply not the same language spoken here. The constant series of quizzes I find irritating. Most are transparently designed to inform the professor whether you've read his assignment. Of course I haven't read his assignment. There is no time to read assignments. Aside from the library, my class buildings and the dormitory, I know little of the campus and less of the city. I feel like the village idiot treated with polite deference by my colleagues. It is maddening. Thank you. 
Occasional walks in the evening with advice and friendship from my own people were genuinely pleasurable moments. But when the year's examinations were finished, I felt it pointless to continue here in frustration, loneliness and poverty. I was about to wire for passage home when I received notification that my grades were very high and I had been accepted by my department as teaching assistant. Fantastic. I shall stay another year. But uh, if it is anything like the last one, I am leaving. But ah, uh, Nigerman, eh? Take a reservation. You mean it gets uh, worse? Old customs and strange rites are practiced by the natives. Well, welcome to the student union. What's your name? Hailo Fullas. Oh, you speak English very well. Thank you. Giza, you will see that when you get out of that dormitory. My second year began with a teaching assistant's salary too. If you share, you can afford an apartment, but they're difficult to find. No servants in this country, so the men often cook for themselves. We attempted this with some success. somewhat by our landlady, who turned out to be a kindly soul at heart, who developed a motherly interest in our welfare. special type in Ethiopia? Yeah, there is one special type we call saris. And what's it made of? It's made of grapes. The name of your country, I'm always mispronouncing it. Ethiopia. 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 But for all the casual and relaxed socializing, the second year brings a difficult decision. My specialized research is complete, 
should I go home now, or what seems increasingly possible, like my American colleagues, stay on and work toward the highest degree offered in my field. But it's taken you five years, Tamro, and you've not finished yet. As a matter of fact, my dear Hyde, my government has just inquired, Tamro, are you still a student or a refugee? What takes so long? Have some coffee. Oh, thank you. Thank you. What country are you all from? Ethiopia. 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 Oh, how wonderful. So glad you could come. Thank you. Thank you. As I was saying, why does it take five years to finish? This sort of thing for one. And then I have to spend a lot of time giving you all advice. However, I'm beginning to feel more pressing obligations along that line. So, there is less time than ever, not counting my two jobs. But, with all the demands, I'm still satisfied. In no other system could I enroll first for a limited study, continue on becoming a member of the staff, complete a program for a doctorate, and still support a family. This whole university is filled with married students somehow working, raising families, and studying at the same time. Now, this life cannot be described as conducive to serene contemplation. Yet, Somewhere during the press of one's job. Professional studies. The inevitable destructions of a material society. pleasurable demands of marriage. You find a few moments to reflect on the point of all this. One day, in the middle of a class I give for the Peace Corps, I really felt for the first time the irony that I, an Ethiopian, was giving instruction to Americans who were going to my country to assist Ethiopians. I knew it was time for me to return, for whatever contribution I am capable of making to my own land and culture. It seems that I have confirmed a position in Addis Ababa. I shall return on acceptance of my thesis here, probably next month. Oh, congratulations. congratulations. Excellent. Thank you. Can Thank you, gentlemen. So you all will have to find yourselves another guide in this exotic part of the world. And there, I would say, is someone who is in need of much guidance and counseling. Welcome to the Student Center. Thank you. What is your name? Desta. Well, Desta, that's interesting. How long have you been in America? Two hours. Oh, well, have a Coke. Thank you. You're welcome. 
en